And how do we make sure the journey is getting accurate information? Because because it's it's frustrating as a dealer or a salesperson when someone walks in and they have very inaccurate information. So the more content that's great that we can post and help the journey move along to us and have them walk in semi-informed and ready to transition into purchase. Hey guys, John Weller here. Welcome to On The Floor. Today we have Nicole Beyer with Quality Carpet Outlet from Inglewood, Florida. Nicole, thanks for coming. Your story is one of my favorite stories because it is so unique. Well, thank you. And I know that sometimes I over-dramatize this, but you're the only person that I know on the planet Earth that was a professional NFL football cheerleader and now runs a carpet store. So, and you were an actual cheerleader for my favorite team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I'm very excited. To me, that's not really the, the most impactful part about your story, but to me, it's so unique because I don't know anybody else that has that background. So Nicole, I will ask you the very first question because I think this is the best part of your story. Tell me a little bit about your actual journey of getting into the floor covering business. Yeah, it's a unique story. So I've never had any intention of running a flooring store. Uh, grew up, my dad installed carpet, was an installer, and then decided to open the store and provided such a great life for my family. Went away to school, never contemplated coming back, but my dad unfortunately passed away, and he passed away rather quickly. So as we knew that was coming and, and, um, and really weren't thinking a lot about it, Right at the last moment, I said, this, this is our family. This is our legacy. This is my future children's legacy. This isn't going to fail. So I jumped right in. So my journey was abrupt interjection and just jumped in and started to figure it out. I walked in. I did not know how checks were written. I did not know how the system worked, like the queue floors or how the processes. And I just jumped in and figured it out because it meant that much to me. And thankfully, we have good people in this business that wrap their arms around me, you being one of them, and, and talk to me about what it takes and, and just figured it out. Yeah, I'm really like excited that you made it through, like from the days of learning what a dial out is <laughs> and learning what all of these things are. What is Q floors? How do I work with this? And you're here today and you're successfully growing this company. What do you think? Like what separates your flooring store down in Inglewood from other flooring stores that are in Inglewood in your mind? Um, the, the biggest thing would be the reason why we're surviving is because of the passion. So the passion that I have for the business, the team that works for the store has been there for a long time, or the newer team members feel the family vibe there. One of the reasons why I kept the business or said I can't let this fail was because my father felt passionate about the people that worked with us. They relied on a paycheck. This is a small community. There are so many pieces. When you're getting new floor in your home, I'm building a new house. I'm buying floor in my own house right now. Oh, it's a nightmare. You order too much or too little of something. Something doesn't match. Having a dealer like Quality Carpet behind you means you have an advocate. So you just go and share where your pain points are as a consumer. And we guide, we, we hide all the band-aids and oopsies and we deal with the trouble so that you can just focus on getting your new floor and paying your bill. And that's it, that's it. And this is why we're different. This is what, this is what validates us charging maybe a little bit more than some other places. Um, and really most of the time we're not charging more. So what makes us different is we're really passionate about who, who we are in the community and what we do and the customers that we serve. The flooring is fun, but it's all about the consumer and the customer. And that extends outside of our residential customers in our community to our commercial clients. They, may, they mean a lot to us. Yep. So I was very, very close with your dad and knew your dad well through the years. And absolutely, this was his life, his passion. And you've definitely done a great job of carrying that on. Let me ask you this. What do you think is the biggest pain point that you've encountered learning the flooring business and and getting to this point that you're at now? Oh my gosh. The biggest. They're all <laughs> death by a thousand paper cuts. <laughs> there are some large ones. I mean, big things. Um, learning was, was, a, was a huge curve, but I feel like the whole team, we've tackled that together. Um, negotiating and marketing. 
creating future plans as the business is evolving, trying to get a baseline and watching the changes now that we're in such a technology driven era, the changes happening so quickly that I, I really couldn't just learn and practice what I learned. It's, it's an ever evolving. And I think all businesses are in that place. So that's probably the biggest pain point is how do we not only stay good at what we're doing today and do a great job of it, but be prepared for whatever the future is holding. So Nicole, you finally have committed to going all in digital. Let me ask you, what brought you to this place that we're at now where we're getting ready to really go after it? No, I feel like you have to do something or you'll slowly continue to be phased out or you'll get the remnants. You'll get the miscellaneous and the others. Who, What's left? We, we, we actually do have people that say we just drove by. Yeah. We just drove by. We have that. So my husband's big on, let's get a sign. Let's spend $10,000 on a really elaborate sign, right? And I'm, I keep saying, seriously, to get the ones and twos. Right. Which is great, but we do that with our reputation. We've been in business 30, 30 years. How do we get the people that are shopping and taking the first portion of their journey, which is online? And how do we make sure the journey is getting accurate information? Because because it's it's frustrating as a dealer or a salesperson when someone walks in and they have very inaccurate information. So the more content that's great that we can post and help the journey move along to us and have them walk in semi-informed and ready to transition into purchase. So I think everyone in the market knows this is the general direction we have to go in and, and we've toyed with it. You guys have really nudged and helped and we've done a few campaigns here and there and we work with Mohawk on their on their larger campaigns, but we just know it's time to, we've got to either step all the way in, really there's no other choice, we've got to step all the way in. So um, we've been working with the account manager, talking week after week on the reporting and figuring out what really makes sense for us and this is it. So. We're stepping all the way in, we're gonna give it a shot and, and see where we land. You're here today because you've made a pretty big decision to go all in digital. And I think um, the first step that you took, I think is one of the biggest. Like, I know that you understand marketing, you understand it from your days of being a cheerleader because that's something they instill in you guys because they actually use that as a foundation to get advertisers into the NFL organizations. Um, and I will say one of the things that I know um, we're going to be able to do is leverage your story and the way that you did that video. So let me just make sure that I have this down straight because we, I wanna, we're getting ready to do this. And really one of the things I want to do is bring you in, let you see what we're doing here, understand who's backing you. You've made the video. That's the first step. We've loaded on your website. We've got it on your Google My Business page. The other part of the plan, as I remember, because we talked about this a month ago before we did the video, we're gonna use one third of your budget and we're gonna basically leverage and take that video and do an awareness campaign throughout your market to tell people who you are, introduce you, let your passion come through, show who you guys service. And then we're gonna take two thirds of your budget and we're basically going to run a campaign on Google search for people that are actively raising their hands saying, I need flooring today to try to grab that. Is that pretty much what you remember? Yeah. Awesome. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to start these campaigns next week and we're going to come back in 90 days and I'm going to let you talk about what happened with your company when we took this step and went all in digital with your family, your passion, your story, and let that go. So, Nicole, I really appreciate you coming. I cannot wait to shoot this next video. I pray that Me too. only good things happen. Um, but we're in this together, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Thank All you. right, thanks for coming.